Hi guys, this is Avro Kefren. Today I'm gonna show you how to improve your performance slash FPS in the new Ghost in the Shell standalone complex first assault online. Pretty uh, big title for a game. Uh, so you have to right click on the game, properties, local files, go to browse local files. After that you go to data. And finally option. In this config file you will have all the options that you have right now in the game. Uh, so uh, first of all yeah everything is there but you will have more options that you can change uh, if you want to uh, like I don't know modify some different uh, aspect of your game uh, I will show you how to improve your performance but um, some uh, some option that you will change will decrease a lot the visual like the game your, the visual of your game and it will increase a lot your performance but some option you can just like remove it and you will not see like a big decrease with the visual and you will have a nice gain with your fps so first of all resolution this is the last case scenario you will change that one so don't touch it um same thing here okay so anti-aliasing that one you can get like four to seven fps depending on your gpu uh, so you can put zero if you want to deactivate it and one if you want to go back. Same thing with HDR. I saw two FPS of increase. So again, you can disable it with zero or enable it with one. Shadow. Shadow. Don't really in the game you have like high, medium, low or off. Uh, this game is on or off. Uh, I saw seven FPS just to put the shadow to off. So this one is a pretty big deal because for me shadow is not important. It's a FPS shooter. You know, you don't care about shadow. So just put zero over there and you will see a nice increase. Um, after that, screen effects quality, effect quality, shader quality, texture quality, everything is about to 2 to 3 FPS, depending on whatever you choose. 2 equal um, I, 1 is medium, and 0 is low, okay? So, just to make sure that uh, you have the proper number here. Texture filtering, uh, this one too, I saw uh, not a big increase, but like 1 to 2 FPS. Uh, that one just change it in the game because I think uh, if I remember it's four two one or something like that I'm not sure if you have four three two one zero. I don't remember but make sure that you look at the game before changing that one uh, The fob for me the fob you can go to 105 But the thing is you need to remember if you're at the higher fob that you will have um, the more of the game you will render on your computer, so you will decrease your performance. So in worst case scenario, just lower your FOV. I, again, I don't remember in the game uh, what is the minimum, but probably 70, something like that. So you can modify uh, this one. And then 90 is the default uh, for the game. Video advanced setting. So here you have a lot of stuff that you can change. Shadow detail, again, go to zero. Uh, it will uh, improve a lot your FPS. Um, model text detail, world text detail, those kind of option here, you don't see it in, inside of the game and you can add it. It's pretty nice. So I, if you have like some trouble again to have your 60 FPS, just like lower those number uh, gradually. Don't go too crazy because again, maybe your uh, graphic will decrease a lot. Uh, dynamic particle, uh, in this case, I gain like 3 to 4 FPS, that's pretty high, and I got the same problem with H1Z1, so if you don't care about particle when you shoot, uh, put this one at 0, okay? So yeah, that's about it, you can add like some other effect, like uh, motion blur when you want to move fast and have like some nice uh, effect, uh, HDR lighting too, you can put one here, but the thing is, you will probably uh, uh, lose some FPS if you uh, use those options. So yeah guys, that's about it. After that, you have to save, okay? Make sure you save the file. And also, here, make sure that the file is in read-only. Because if you don't put the file in read-only, the game can override your file. So, I don't know, uh, if you have an update, the game can override it. Or if you decide to change something in your game setting, it will override your file. So make sure you always change your stuff here in the configuration setting. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, if you have any questions, just uh, comment in the YouTube section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.